Good morning, folks. It's Wednesday, it's, well, whatever Wednesday, and that whatever right now, at least, is hydroneer, because dig, 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 dirt, 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 <laughs> you know, good times. So, yeah, we're going to be continuing playing that today, which is going to entail probably more nukes, unfortunately, <laughs> just because that's the only real good way to get down to more dirt, but... Regardless, we're going to be doing that. Uh, but before we begin, I am still trying to fundraise to help my friend Hachiko get back on his feet and to. Uh, brain decided not to work today. <clears throat> help him forward, deposit on a place to. safe place to live with him and for him and his roommates, and in general, just, you know, life support kind of stuff, because being alive is expensive. So. I currently have the GoFundMe link on my layout, just like in text, if you can, more visual people. I also have a um, chatbot that shares it, and I also have a command. So, any way you want to do it, there's a way to do it, just about. And I appreciate you doing it all the same. There's also, should be below the stream, a image for the GoFundMe you can click to take you there as well. So, again, any way you, you're able to or want to, I appreciate you. Oh, I didn't load the game up yet. Piss. Uh, well, I guess let's do that now while I'm still kind of getting everything going. Oh, I don't know why I'm that excited. It's Hydroneer. I mean, Hydroneer is great and all. I'm going to be trying to my layout a little bit because it's a little gray <laughs> I'm thinking more of something along the lines of like something that's like magenta and like crystally maybe I'm still kind of with vines and stuff I'm kind of just up in the air thinking about what I'm gonna do There we go. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Oh, that's like the old, old, olden times. Replaced invisible house. <laughs> well, we got the newest stuff. In July is the last time. His Majesty Your Grace has joined the Bean Army. Well, thank you for the follow, His Majesty Your Grace. Hope you're doing well today. <laughs> I'm just kind of looking at patch notes. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, though. We're getting ready to get back into our uh, our, our save here and see what we got going on dig-wise. Okay. So, one of the major things in the last stream is I uh, get this fucking hourglass so we don't have to worry about time anymore. Because... Having to go to sleep all the time is just kind of annoying. Uh, did we get all the way down here? I think we needed to dig a little bit more. So we're probably going to uh, turn desktop audio off again. <laughs> so that we can blow up some more of that. Because unfortunately there's not really a much better way to do it. If we had, like, the highest, like, possible modded pickaxe, then maybe. Oh, speaking of which, I bet I should probably do, uh, clear all resources. Move all raw resources, gold ore, gems, blah, blah, blah. 
and then clear our dirt chunks because I probably didn't turn off the um, the system over at Ember Cradle and that prob that was probably getting ready to back up and cause a problem. But now it should be fine. <clears throat> Okay, this is gold. Okay. Well, no time like the present. I'm going to um, more dig. Yes, we're going to be doing more dig. Uh, well, I can get just hop down here because we're we're getting down to the the bottom here. But I need to uh, get more of this dug out, which means more nukes. <laughs> so we're going to um, unstuck, and I'm going to mute the desktop audio. So that, that y'all don't have to hear this fucking noise. Because. This. <laughs> because freaking. <laughs> because the nukes make a god awful noise. I'd rather have me be the one that has to hear it than y'all. Because. Oof. Jesus. So this is going to go probably right. See, I don't really still even know the blast radius of these things, so I'm just kind of, like, guessing that I probably want to, like... There. Or something. In part... Hmm. Maybe I should have it a little higher. Than what I did. Mm, nah, we'll put it there and we'll see how it goes. I, st I still have to do Unstuck to get out because I don't want to blow up my uh, stairs. <sighs> Whee! God, I hate that. I hate that sound. Well, thank you for the follow, Stinks. Hope you're doing well today. I've just suffered a catastrophic ear noise because of these nukes. <laughs> I guess we'll see um, how much it actually removed because it didn't feel like it did much. Did it? My question is, why are there three of those little uh, pebbles? Yeah, I thought I had desktop audio like down, but I think it's bleeding out of my headphones <laughs> to the point where it's still hearable. So next time I'm going, next time we set one off, I'm going to mute my mic too, <laughs> which is going to be very soon. Because I want to get this place ready to get down here and start setting up uh, my drills that I have over there. So we can start doing something with this area. Okay. Yeah, that noise is not nice. <laughs> All right, should have been a lot. Should have been a lot less noisy that time. <laughs> well, for now, I'm gonna not do any more. Uh, nukes because well they're kind of it's kind of annoying having to dig with them in the first place i wish you could actually dig with a pickaxe 
the novelty wears off pretty quickly when it gets rid of so little. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I, I didn't I, I didn't real I didn't really fully realize that it was bleeding through my headphones into the mic. I have a desktop mic even, so that just shows you how obnoxious that noise is. <laughs> it's just like worse. Alright, well, let's put some of these. Put these in, see how well that lets us get down here. Yeah, I think that would absolutely destroy your... It's, it's very loud. <laughs> a, a little, a little loud. Just a little. All right, we're gonna dig out a little bit of head space, too, just to make sure that we're. Oh, I think we fell. We in fact did fall. Uh, well, can I at least get this little nugget that I saw flying around? There we go. We got that at least. I guess I gotta just put some more ladders in or stairs. I just, I always call them ladders, but they're stairs. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is a very good mod to have. These uh, boxes you can um, buy just like bulk amount of things, and then you just take them out. Otherwise, you have to buy stuff manually, one by one, and stack them, and it's. It, the novelty wears off pretty quickly when you're doing n more than just like standard crap. I guess I should ask: Has have either of y'all uh, played this game before? This, if not, I can explain some more of the stuff behind it. I'm just kind of putting in some stairs so we can get down here a little bit more easily because as much fun as this using unstuck every single time to get down here I'd rather not do that That's probably about good enough because we're going to want like some blocks. Oh, that fucking sucks. Sorry to hear that. But the about the computer anyway. Oh, sweet. Well then, I guess in that case, double fuck your ex partner because doesn't matter anymore. Fuck you. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you are if you bought it on Steam, you probably can just download it again. I would think. <clears throat> yeah, we as all as these little things are evidence too. We've used a few nukes down here because these little scrap metal cubes are. Almost entirely from the little levers that I use to set off the nukes. <laughs> ah, well, that's understandable. Brains are brains are complicated things. <clears throat> oh no! Sorry to hear about that. Some that sometimes that's just how how things go. <clears throat> Let's 
trying to get all these little fucking metal cubes out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I mostly pl I well, I would say I mostly play stuff like this, but let's be real, like, my Monday and Tuesday slots are both JRPGs, so <laughs> I kind of just play what I want, which does it just kind of ends up being a variety of stuff, I guess, but <laughs> you know, I'll, I don't really know what to really say about other than I play what I want, and if I'm, if I'm online, I'm playing something I want to play, otherwise I'm not online. <laughs> Like, I learned long ago when I first started streaming, if you play stuff you don't want to play, you're not going to want to stream. At least for me, anyway. Like, I can't just, like, log into, like, a game I don't want to play and play it, because the brain just does not work that way. Hello, Star Sweetie. Good morning, dear. How are you? I hope you are well. We are in a dark, nasty hole that I've been using nukes in, and we're trying to get all of our garbage out of it so we can start uh, working on it some more. Oh, Alright, in the, there we go. We got some more stairs in the box here. Let's see, do I need another letter? I can't remember if I was gonna put another one down here. You know, for now it's fine. I think we're gonna have a. Uh, if I can place the damn thing, okay. For now it's fine. Eventually we're gonna be placing a floor, a flat floor down here. I mean, you can make the comment anyway, because, I mean, I say a lot of shit that doesn't make sense, so... The more the merrier. <laughs> Alright. Something I do want to do is go, go go back to the place you start at and show you that system I set up, because we'll be setting up something similar, but much, much bigger when we get this all ready to go. So let's get in our water truck. It's literally powered by water. It's pretty cool, actually. And we'll go head on over to, to, back to the Ember Cradle. We'll cut through this town here, uh, Bridgepore. Ooh, finished work? Awesome! If you don't mind me asking, what do you do for work? I mean, I do, like, basically hospital tech support during, like, evening hours. So that's why I have to string during the morning, because the rest of my day is just gone for work, basically. <clears throat> We're going to just ramp up this hill. It's probably not the intended way to get back to here pretty quick, but... Ooh, call center. Cool. That's that's pretty important work, even if they don't make you feel like it is, because you're usually able to help people that uh, need help at weird times. Ooh. Well, that's cool. I've heard, I've heard of synesthesia. I probably can't say the word right, but I've heard of that before. What, what smell? What does it smell like? If I may ask, I'm not trying to be like rude. If that's a rude thing to ask, I'm just curious. Cause I gotta say, I don't probably have very many viewers or people that have that dragon fruit. Ooh, cool. I could definitely, I could have definitely picked a much worse smell to associate with my voice. So thank you. That's cool. Dragon fruit and straw. Ooh. That doesn't sound half bad, actually. I'm usually not a big dragon fruit fan. I'm gonna crunch these gems all together. The main thing we're trying to see get is a 400 weight onyx, which onyx is the rarest gem, so that's gonna take a minute. But yeah, this is this. Well, I should probably I should probably start at the bottom to show you the drill setup I got for this, because these these little friends here have a little bit of dirt underneath them which lets them just mine all these little pebbles here well and then they go on a little they go for a little ride up the conveyor belt oh well i can't make that <laughs> fit anymore oh now i'm stuck oh, now i'm stuck <laughs> all right let's uh get out of here they go they go on a little trip up the conveyor belt into here 
The awful stuff, this can very well here. This game is very jank, but I am no stranger to games that are very jank. I, I for context, I have played and completed the PC release of Sonic Heroes on stream, and that 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 was jank. I'll tell you what, that was like ascended jank. And here's our other thing we have of drills over here too, because I was like, you know, let's set up even more, and then I've, they, they go on just a fun little little roller coaster ride. Jank, yeah, that's kind of my way of referring to it as jank affectionate, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, we got just more dirt. I there's there's some space over here. I could fit more of these into, but I don't know if I care. They they actually they, I agree they do. Like if just like some weird shit happens, that can just be very funny. This game has some of that just in part of it existing and like doing what it does. But yeah, we have those, and those those make dirt, and those dirt gets turned into resources, and these make the resources. They make things happen. And what we're doing over here, this is a modded thing that lets you make better pickaxes that um, dig more area out. We're trying to get this onyx pickaxe, because I'm almost certain that will let us either clear out the dirt at the bottom of the map, or it's a little... I know one of these mounted pickaxes just clears out all the dirt on a certain map that you use it on, and I want that, because then I want to have to freaking dig all that shit out. And as much fun as it would be to just digging all that out manually by hand, I don't think I want to. I don't want to use bombs either, because that would just take way too long. So right now we're just kind of letting this go and get gems. There are. I have, there's some I haven't downloaded that probably should. There's like teleporters and that kind of stuff that are like late game priced. This is probably my favorite thing that I've set up though is this system that automatically fixes these uh, water filters. Because if you don't filter your water, your machines take damage and eventually break down. But if you have water filters, they're the only things that take damage. And they're the only things that break down. And normally, you would have to fix these manually when they start, like, sparking or when you notice their durability's low. But with these, <clears throat> these little goo doohickeys over here, read the durability number that is associated with this. And it returns a value. Say, like, say this is, like, 50%. It would give this back to a value of 50. Oh, one of them just fixed. I think it was this one, actually. And, um... When this reads a durability, durability value of 1, this little guy over here, I'll, I'll get a, go around to get a better look. This little thing is constantly putting a value of 1, always. So when this is less than or equal to 1, according to, uh, when this is greater than or equal to this, which means when this reads 1 and this is always putting out 1, it sends a value of 1 to this, which then repairs. I had to look up just random, like, fragmented Reddit threads. <laughs> for, just for hours to fi try to figure out how to get this shit to all actually work. But now it does. This stuff just repairs itself forever. Until, and if, when these run out, I can just put more spanners in them. And otherwise, yeah. Which means that while this is still working, this is still working. Around the clock. <laughs> The only other thing over here is I built like a little house just to say I could, because. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm pretty satisfied with this. <clears throat> it's pretty, it's, and one of the first things you'll be doing over there at the new place once you get all stuff set up is replicating this. Because having filtered water that lets your stuff just work is probably almost the most important thing. Because having your machines break down is just kind of annoying because they have to go find which one it is. Specifically fix that one. And then hope that your other machines are gonna break aren't gonna break down soon too. Ooh, looks like we finally got another onyx in there. <clears throat> how big how big are ya? Ooh, yeah, it was just like a few more like Ten or so more weight. So unfortunately, there's not much we can do with this right now, other than just kind of let it do its thing. We could do more work over here, but I just don't really want to. Like the only thing I'd probably be doing is like lining up some more of these drills, and then like just sending the having their stuff get sent this way, and then like 
connect to this uh, conveyor belt in some way, but we're not that worried about it. At least I'm not. No, I might. Be, I might. Be. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Jesus Christ. All right. So that's this situation. I should go ahead and just grab more uh, cloudium that I have over here. So we're gonna, we're gonna. T oh, I have a nice little valve here. Let's just turn off the system temporarily. We're gonna grab the uh, cloudium here. How much do I have? 184. I think that's not much, but it's something. Cloudium is probably one of the most. Other than onyx, it's probably the most uncommon of the resources. But it's also used in like kind of like uh, currently in-game uh, stuff. We'll just kind of drop that in there, and then we'll we'll combine them together and see if we have enough. Because if we do, we'll go make another uh, drill. Because <clears throat> the more the merrier for uh, drills. It kind of what makes thing makes things work. All right, let's see. How big are you? Not big enough. You know what? Then you get to just kind of stay in here. Because we need at least 300 to make a new uh, drill, so we're not going to really even worry about that. We'll also, just kind of return this one, too, because... Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. My guys to show up the top, but yeah, I basically just built this house to say that I built something in this game. That was really the only reason I did. <laughs> I was like, you know, let's build a little, little like, foreman's house, and there we go, it's a foreman's house. Uh, let's move that out of the way, and, oh, did I turn this back, oh, I almost just left without turning this back on, that would have been a little silly, wouldn't it? <clears throat> See, how big is this emerald? Um... A 2,000 pound emerald, alright, that's pretty good. If we need more money, we can uh, use this. We'll just take this with us, I guess. Also grab whatever gold is currently here for the same reason. it in the truck. Right. I was going to say I could fill my water up, but I'll just do that when we get down to the, the river. Something you don't have to keep mindful of is like, just this, this truck falling in the hole here. I probably should just cover it up, but that's a lot of work. That I don't want to really expend uh, over here. Because frankly, once we get the stuff set up over at the... Uh, South Hope, there's not going to be that much reason to come back here, because, like, the, the dirt depth and size of the other place is going to, like, be much better. Yeah, if I usually, if I, if I want to fill my truck up, I usually stop at the river here. It's a little easier to, to manage stuff. Because you can just drop the pan... There we go. Truck's full. Nice. How many cats you got? What kind of cats you got? This is this is just basically. Oh, we got this orange one that we found outside, and we've got. Because <laughs> as a fellow cat owner slash cat person, that's just sometimes how the cats come to you is just spontaneously they'll just they just kind of show up on their own sometimes it feels like three awesome
me and my roommate have a, a cumulative two cats. Oh, that's cute. That's a good name for a cat in general. <clears throat> just for the just to kind of investigate the size of everything, I'm just gonna bring one of our cladium drills down here just to kind of see. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's always good to be able to save uh, critters from kind of shitty situations like that. They don't deserve to be treated badly or anything, you know? Like. Hmm. Oh, goodness. <laughs> just found him lying on the road, huh? Well, I mean, sometimes that's just how you, f that's just how you get your cats. Is they're just kind of there. <sighs> trying to... This, trying to parse my brain waves to figure out what the fuck I'm actually gonna do because it's a little dark down there so we might need to go get some uh, torches or something I think we'll do that actually yeah we'll go buy some like torches or lights or something for down there so we can maybe see what the hell's going on as for my two cats one of them is named worm because he came from outdoors and his belly was full of worms he was a little guy when we got him his name his name is worm He's a, he's a tuxedo, and he's kind of big now, like, not like, not necessarily fat, but just kind of big. <laughs> and the other one, his name is Spooky, he is a shelter kitty, I got him from a shelter when one of our pre other cats was taken to the shelter, not by us, somebody called about him or something, and he got taken away, I don't fucking know. It was not a fun time, but, yeah, um... Yes, yeah, because old shelter cat, he is tiny and stinky and stupid, and I love him. Uh, oh, lights. <laughs> Got distracted talking about cats. Uh, let's see. Probably just these, honestly, because, I mean, wall lantern, that's great, but there's not really a wall I want to put the lanterns on, per se. Hmm. Unfortunately, standing torches are probably going to be my best bet. <clears throat> I should have bought a, a crate. Brought a crate, rather, for these. But we could just buy a crate here, because this mod puts this the crate shop like right here. It's pretty convenient, and... We're gonna buy one another one of these uh, trash crates because you, you'd think they wouldn't be very useful because they're gonna hold like, hold like ten things, but they also don't have a uh, price multiplier on them. Some of the the bigger crates ha have like like the biggest one lets you hold buy like five hundred of something or whatever, but catches everything you use to buy in that crate is eighteen percent more expensive. So. For things that aren't very expensive, you can. It's great. It's fine to buy them like this. But like things that are slightly more expensive, you probably want to use one of these smaller crates first. Huh? Huh? Plus, these these trash crates are very inexpensive. Like, yeah. And we're gonna use this to buy torches. Also, it'll also let me show off how the mod works, too, I guess. Okay, and then let's say we want to buy a standing torch. Just drop it in front of where it says input. And now there is an unpaid standing torch in there. Let's get our money back out because I put it away like a fool. Okay, and then if you left-click where it says unpaid, it'll increase how many are in there. We're going to buy all ten. And then you put that there, and then there's like ten of these torches there see the, the values sync up and then you press buy and 
Now you only have to carry one thing instead of ten things. <laughs> Probably even the best part about this is that, say you use up nine of these and you have one left, if you bring it back to any store, you can re you can reclick the number that sh like I'll just, I'll just kind of demonstrate. Like you can reclick the number. He I'll say like if you have like one in there, you can click this again, and it'll start adding more unpaid ones to this t this box, and then you can pay for more instead of having to go like all the way to a specific shop that has a specific thing. So it's very, 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 very good quality of life mod. That Franco wouldn't be surprised if they at some point add to the base game in some form because it's that's makes building stuff a lot less of a chore. <sighs> yeah, Wednesdays is I call it whatever Wednesday, but for right now it's kind of hydroneer day. <laughs> I stream this for like three hours and if I'm not on call at my hospital job on the weekend I make an attempt to do like a really big stream day on Saturday with like the first like stream starting at like this time on Saturday being like 8 a.m. with being a little a game I like it's called a uh, it's called wayward it's like a survival roguelike kind of turn-based game it's fun I like it at least I say oh it's fun but that's probably my my standard of fun is not always the same as everyone else's. Um, let's grab some of these torches. We'll put one down here just to kind of see how. Well, that doesn't help much, does it? <laughs> kind of bad actually it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of bad really bad actually like I mean it's not like the worst still like lights it up but not by much I guess that's solved, but I, I need to figure out um, how I'm going to get these drills to work, because they have to have dirt underneath them, so it means I'm going to have to snag some of the dirt from like the ceiling here. <clears throat> I'm guessing like there is where they're going to have to go. Maybe. Hmm. <clears throat> we can put that there for now, but that's not gonna do anything. What? <sighs> Is this not considered tier three dirt because I put it down right there? gonna be a more annoying than I thought. Hmm. Yep. Kind of the annoying part about it being you don't you don't have t you don't have tools that can interact with tier three dirt and this counts as tier three dirt when it's this deep. So your other option would be to just like dig, dig up there where you can still interact with stuff. But I want to do it down here for, you know, obvious reasons. That does look like it's the right spot at least. <clears throat> Come on. 
place somewhere, you fool. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to attempt to just to search the workshop for like a tier three like tool mod or something, because like it's kind of annoying that there's not. Um Actually we're gonna we're gonna Well, you know what? We will actually just do that real quick because I didn't I didn't anticipate it being like this. I expect that since we put tier down tier two dirt that it would let us, you know, dig it back up since it's, you know, tier two dirt. But apparently if you put dirt down there it's just tier three dirt now, which you can't really do anything with anyway, so I might have to actually just move up to the next layer up anyway, which means I de waste, definitely wasted a bunch of time doing this. Yeah, like... Like, I'm 99% sure this dirt's not gonna work with this. Just for fun, though, we can test it out. I mean, why not? <laughs> Have like a the big dirt dirt rod. <laughs> Is that enough for you? Okay, that should technically be enough for this drill to want to function. So it's definitely the wrong way. Okay. Oh god, the freaking pipes are like weird. Why are the pipes like that? What? Why can't they just be on the back? Like, literally the other one. Hmm. That's gonna make routing the water really annoying. So you're gonna have, like, big lines of these. The answer is you're probably not. Trying to think of the way your way you do this with these. Like you probably have like two facing each other, but that's probably about it. Well, might as well just get them set up down here to try to figure out how we're gonna make this work. Wee crunch. That's where we're gonna attempt to put the dirt. It's, it seems we're gonna have to be a lot more more clinical and uh, deliberate where we put dirt if we're gonna be doing this crap. And I don't know if this is even gonna work for these. I have no idea if this is gonna even work for these drills because I don't know if they can even dig this. And if they can't, then we're just gonna scrap this whole digging down here part. <laughs> I guess, I, I just don't know. I'm in uncharted territory here. I've not really experimented with this much of the stuff at this depth before. I mostly just didn't anticipate the dirt becoming tier 3 dirt when I placed it down here. Well, I guess that counts. The only way I can really think to do it would have like alternating like things. Like have a pipe, have a drill there, and have them just alternating all the way down.
They look like little aliens just sitting on like a little stool. <laughs> I'm just gonna get these out of this box. Because we need to go use this box to buy, like, uh, pipes. Cloudium pipes, specifically, because we're gonna have to get a lot of water over here. Uh, okay, those are the filters that the water is gonna need. <laughs> this is where our little we got we got this set up at the at the end of the of last stream just barely. Mostly can see how strong the water is here with these boosters, and it's pretty powerful, I would say. Let's uh, go buy some stuff, I guess. Do we have one of these pressure chambers? I probably should buy more than that. But we're gonna give it an attempt of getting, um, we're gonna make an attempt of getting water down there just so I can see how well it functions. Before I start just throwing them in there and trying to get them to do do stuff because it's seeming like we're gonna have to do something like alternating like have one because like this the pipe the water pipes come from the side which is obnoxious We're actually gonna buy another of these glorious clay, cr clates, crates, a glorious crate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of annoying buying these. With just like this is cute, but like it makes it hard to actually buy your shit. Is it really necessary? No. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, I already have money here. Well, we're gonna need more than that. Seriously. Okay, fine. Alright. Well, I just bought this crate, so we're gonna use this. Give me the crate. Thank you, game. Okay, put that there. Let's. Hmm. We're, we're gonna use this one to buy the the, the hide these hydro pipes. We do max. That's five hundred, which is a lot. But we're, these are you need a lot of straight pipes, so I'm I'm okay spending that. And that's five hundred claudium hydro pipes. Probably gonna need at least a few of these uh, elbows, so we're gonna just buy these manually. I, di I didn't want to buy like 500 of them because I don't know if we're gonna use that many of them ever. Oh, we have a trash crate with us. We should have just did that. What we can do now, since I forgot we had a trash crate with this, is we can just... I can show you the unpaid thing. We can just add more to, to this, and... There we go. We've got more. we got more pipes now. Yay! Or more uh, elbows, rather. I 
Okie dokie, well. Let's get our happy asses back to the dig. gonna just take this with us because we're, we're gonna need a, a lot <coughs> of these in general we're gonna need at least one more elbow so we have to go back and grab that I need to drink my coffee before we get oh, I mean I'll drink it if it's cold anyway but just smarter if I don't wait to drink it until it's like ice cold <clears throat> all right so we're gonna want this to come out some ways We're need, gonna need a little bit of height to clear these fucking hills. I'm suspecting that would be enough, but just to be sure, we're gonna go up one more. To the point where it's kind of annoying to even build, but it shouldn't be too bad. It's gonna be a little annoying now until we get like further over, I guess. We can also just j jump on the crate too. Use as a little bit of a step ladder. I'm seriously hoping that this is enough pipes, because that's a lot of pipes. Mm. Exactly, I don't know. I don't exactly know what I'm gonna. Oh, well, I know what I'm gonna do. I'll have to just buy more. But that's like a ridiculous amount of pipes already. Kind of relaying this nasty little box all over the place. Make it eventually. I mean, I need this line kind of going this way anyway, even if I was not doing this stuff as deep as I was, because the water is all the way over there. We kind of need it over here, regardless.
Yeah, it, it would have taken me so much longer to do this if I didn't have the this mod by a significant margin. Because we'd have to, firstly, we'd have to probably figure out how many pipes we would need and then buy that many specifically and then stack them all together in like a cart or something. Which would also just take a while to buy, let alone get. And then we'd have to come and place them, which I mean, that'd probably take the same amount of time, but like. It'd take longer because we'd have to go fish them out of the cart instead of this crate. So if, if you're playing this game, get the uh, this uh, mod. I'll, to, I'll show my mods list off after uh, you're doing a stream, I guess. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, well, we could probably just start dipping this way, I guess. Let's get uh, an elbow. We'll see if my aim was on the mark or not, because I was just kind of, kind of winging it a little bit. I've got a feeling that these drills aren't going to work on that tier 3 dirt down there. So if that's the case, then we'll just kind of start working up the top area where the dirt is tier 2 instead. Because, like, I am not, I don't want to waste my time, although I probably already have. <laughs> I think I can already see that this needs to be one more out. Based off of my just guesstimation. Thankfully, it's not hard to course correct right now when there's like just not much of anything down other than the pipes. It'd be a lot harder if we do it once we start doing like actually doing stuff with this. But for now, it's pretty, pretty tame. Thankfully, because of just the sheer amount of water pressure we have initially, like, it's still plenty of water pressure, but whenever we uh, get to the point where we're going to want to use the water, we will be um, using a pressure chamber to re repower it up to full power, which is going to be absurd. It's going to be like 365 water pressure, <laughs> which is a little silly. I think, I think back at the other place, everything it runs off of like 118 or something, so like, it's abs gonna be absurd. Hmm. Looks like technically I wasn't wrong having it like shorter than this, but like, may maybe I should build it from the other way. How about that? How about that shit, right? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh god. All right, well that worked. Um We're basically just setting up a, a, a demo to see if this actually works right down here. I'm suspecting it's not going to, but that's why we're testing it, because, yeah. That was the, the the wimpiest jump I've ever seen. All right. Now, admittedly, this this uh, shard pickaxe I have here is pretty good size for digging. So if we have to, we're gonna probably want to dig up from like a certain spot. 
<clears throat> like for the test's purposes, we're gonna wanna probably dig up from like this area, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna get the we're gonna get the pipes in place that aren't uh, straight pipes. Oh. Should be these ones. We need at least like four. These are gonna drop just drop them down the hole. That's the advantage of working in a big mine like this. Is if you need stuff down low, you can just <laughs> drop it down the the fucking just drop it down there, and it'll get down there on its own. Don't gotta carry it. Probably get there faster than you can get down there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna need a, at minimum at least a <clears throat> an elbow for each of these. <clears throat> if I run these all off the same line. Which is probably what you would want to do, is have these all run off of like one line. Just, just usually makes things a little simpler. So we're going to need a T-pipe. We do have one up top. Didn't think to bring it down here. But yeah, at this point we're just testing out how these interact with this dirt down here and if they don't then we're just move up to the next layer up which will still be much much bigger uh dirt pieces than you <laughs> know be still about way way bigger dirt pieces than um the ember crater because ember crater only goes down to uh five I think down here is technically 22, so I don't know if we're going to be able to do stuff down this far, but even, like, up there is still, like, way better than otherwise. Uh, so, yeah, we need our T-pipe. After we get this and this in place. Okay, so those are nice and juicy. <clears throat> okay, that's probably how I'm gonna want that. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna need another elbow. If I have a shard bar here, I'm gonna want that too. Yeah, we well, we got one from the other place. Whee! Honestly, I don't know how long these shard bars even last, or if you just need one in there in general. Cause the the ones I put in place <laughs> at the Ember Cradle are just still in there. I don't know if like they just run out really slowly, or just if they don't run out, you just need one in general. I God damn it. Son of a bitch. So this is why you generally want to build your stuff a little bit more uh, user friendly than what this is. But this, we're just testing this crap out. Although, if I if I am gonna dig down this deep, I'm probably gonna have the pipe somewhere around here anyway. So we like when we get like this part done, that'll actually just kind of be there for the entire for the long haul. So it's not like a total waste of time doing this. Because we're going to need to get pipe water down this far anyway. It's just a matter of, can it work down there? Or do we need to have it up a little higher? That's a torch. Get, get back in there. I don't need you right now. There we go. So 
So right now we're gonna have an elbow pipe going up to this, but like in the future we could just uh Well firstly we can grab this and <laughs> put this here like this. <clears throat> Alright, we should pro you know, I think we have some ladders left. We could probably use them to get up there just to Well we also have these concrete floors that I bought a lot of. Which I only like putting them down in a certain orientation, like right side up. There we go. <clears throat> we can put these down to let us more easily kind of climb around this area. At least a little more easily. Mostly just so we can work on this pipeline. That's the only reason I really want to do much of this right now is this pipeline in particular. Mm, well. <laughs> hmm. For now, we're going to leave the pickaxe there. Oh, nice. Just, just hooked on the edge. Perfect. <laughs> Grab another flooring, and we'll just try to try to put it in a more useful spot for actually getting. All right, well that works, I guess. <clears throat> oh, well, good thing I don't have bones. <laughs> Alright, for now we're gonna just like kinda put this down here, I guess. I don't know. I'm just trying to dig out the whole the way through the pipes so that we can just get up there and get the pipes put in. Oh yeah, all that Minecraft parkour is paying off, I guess. I don't know, I've never really done much par Minecraft parkour, so I'm mostly talking out my ass. <laughs> no, Son of a bitch. Let's move this box just a little closer. There we go. Like it's cool, like manually manipulating stuff, manipulating stuff in this game. But it'd also be cool, like to just like not have to do that. Like having a hot bar of stuff instead of like. It's also kind of difficult to build stuff in close quarters like this. Okay, so I can just have to dig up from here. Maybe. <laughs> it might be better if I can just like make a little staircase up myself. There we go. Yeah, that's probably a smarter idea anyway. Like, like a shitty little spiral staircase out of dirt. Broken the surface. That's probably good enough for now, honestly. Let's just 
drop our pickaxe down here and we'll get these blocks moved out of the way. For the sake of ease of access, we'll put them here. get them out of the way and also to make it a little just a little easier to access the uh, this guy because now all I have to do is land a very easy uh, landing to get to it they'll also help us get back onto this if we're, for us doing the building garbage I guess so. <clears throat> I do have a, a, a funny idea that we're going to try. I'm sure this is still the right way. No, it's not because I keep flipping pipes around there we go we're gonna try dive bombing from the from the top with our magic little hole here not, not that magic little hole I guess not that magical hole either what where's the hole oh it's right here okay um oh shit <laughs> You're basically gonna get the get the box and put it here so that we can um, just keep building upwards. I guess this is a very awkward thing to build. This is a very awkward thing to build with the tools that this game gives you to build it with. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll, we'll make do. Hopefully. We could, even, we could technically place it like that too so that they don't move. So that the box is just there permanently. For now, we're just gonna build like this, actually. Since we got this place carved out anyway, might, might as well use it, right? Alright, we're gonna have to get our pickaxe to uh, dig a little bit more space. And knowing my luck, this isn't going to work, and we're going to have to just move up anyway, but that's fine, because it just makes it be a little less tedious to get stuff to, because we already have the hard part done, which is, you know, dug all this crap out. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> just slipped and tripped. Oopsie, oopsie, whoopsie. I did a fucky-wucky. Try that one again. Okay, that should technically be clearance now. And if it's not, well then I guess I'll just guess I'll die. Kind of wanted a little perch here. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to forget my pickaxes up here. Because I will. I will 100% forget that I believe I left my pickaxe on that little perch up there. Ah, crunch. <laughs> All right, well, all right, now it's definitely going to have some clearance. All right, well, at this point, you can just 
kind of good down the hole Now we're gonna have to just suffer a little bit building this now. Oh come on, this is that's ridiculous. Oh, we're gonna have to. Why is why is building in this game so painful? Come. Uh, just let me place the damn thing right in front of me, please. Uh, it was there, but not there. Uh, Jesus Christ. You know what? Go there. We're going to move this right there. And now we can place this stupid fucking pipe, whatever. It's, it's, all, it's all good. I'm not mad, just disappointed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, now, so now we can't place that anymore, so we gotta, like, just fucking, I don't know, get, get down there, I don't, I don't wanna look, I don't wanna look at you anymore. We're just playing past the fucking block down the hole, I guess. All right, whatever. That's probably the hardest part of doing this building stuff is actually clearing the way out unless you're like, have that pickaxe that clears all the dirt out as it is, cause yeah, it's uh, painful. Oh wow, we were way fucking off with this pipe. Like way fucking off. You know what, that's fine. It's whatever. I want to say that's about right, but honestly, at this point, even fucking knows. Just grab an elbow. Stick a finger in my hat and call me macaroni, I guess. Alright, well. Like, we're gonna need this pipe anyway, but it's just kind of annoying that I was, like, so off base there. So we'll just grab these pipes and make them make it work. Admittedly, I knew this was gonna be a really long process anyway, but like it's just because there's just so much area to cover compared to the other dig. But yeah, this is silly. Like, not doing any of this, like, digging with, like, with any, even the stuff I have would just take so long. Like, even using nukes, it would take so long, and that'd be really expensive, too, so that, like, any money you would have would just all go into nukes for the purpose of just clearing out all this garbage. But I guess that's the point of the game, but it's also kind of a sandbox game, so you kind of make your own point with the game, too, so it's like, mm. Like, you make your own fun with these kind of games, and I gotta say, um, digging a bunch of just dirt out for the sake of digging dirt out is not my ideal way to spend my day, so I'm more than happy to use stuff that makes it a little less painful. On the flip, on the flip side, though, at least I think I got, like, one thing right. I think this is the right height. It looks like it. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh no! It might be a little, it might be a little tall, but that's probably like the one of the least boardy some things. If it's a little tall or a little short, we can just move everything down. Let's 
just a it's like one tall that that's fine I can I can fix that pretty easily actually I guess the good thing is that this pipe can just will just be here forever. Like I'm not touching this pipe once I get this in place. Cause if there's more water we need down somewhere, we'll just route it around and put in more uh with those uh, pressure chambers. Just whatever. Who cares? All of this just a test of on if these drills can work on the, the dirt at the bottom there. If they can't, then, well, this wasn't for nothing because we can just use the same water line, just move stuff further up, honestly. One thing we absolutely are doing first, though, is we need to get these uh, little... Let's get our trash crate here because we need to get these water filters installed immediately. Not, not you. Okay. These crates also let you just move stuff around easier than if you were doing it by yourself. Okay, over here is where we'll have our little, I guess, quote-unquote water treatment plant. Because initially, well, well, for now, we'll have to repair these manually. But once I can get the stuff together, we'll have that other system that we had over at the other place, too. But getting those in place first is important one way or another. Because I do not want to have to repair my machines. Alright, well. Another little trash crate here. Despite them being called trash, they're very useful for buying small amounts of things you don't want to buy large amounts of. Like nukes! Like buying 10 nukes with those instead of buying like 500 nukes. Because who, who's going to use that many nukes anyway? But... Yeah. But so if you use one of these glorious crates to buy nukes, each nuke is 18% more expensive and they cost like 26 grand a piece, so you don't want to do that. But with these, you can buy 10 of them at once and it's still only like 260 grand instead of like more expensive, so. It just seems like kind of the gamey solution to that. Alright, so. We got this water ran down. It should all be hooked up. Yep, that's what I thought. That's fine. I would rather find that out now before I start just going like industrial revolution scale. <laughs> you know? So we're gonna have to find out where we can have these things dig. My guess is like here. Which is fine. We could just move stuff up. Like, my guess is, like, right around here. So we'll start just putting some blocks there so I can... get to this area a little bit more easily. I guess the main, the main way to really check that is to get some dirt and place it down. Okay, that's still tier 2 dirt, so that's probably as... I mean, I could try going one deeper just to see if it lets me still place that dirt. I don't really want to do that because that could, but we got we gotta we gotta find out where I can place the dirt still. I 
Okay, that depth's actually better. Like, that depth is, uh, is probably as, as deep as I'm willing to go. As it is, it looks kind of like that dirt, but it's still tier 2 dirt, thankfully. So, that is our depth that our drills are going to be sitting at. So let's get some more of these. Um... Hmm. Actually, let's 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 pop back over to Ember Crater real quick. I want to check on the status of the uh, Onyx pick, and also perhaps grab my Cladium pick one way or another. Cause we're gonna have to dig. <laughs> Cause down all that area down there we blow up is completely useless. There are no drills that can work down there, so there's no point in doing anything else down there. But So what we gotta do now is just dig all tier 2 stuff out, so what better way to do that than with a pickaxe that's been upgraded pretty high with Cloudium that I could have used to make other drills. <laughs> Whee! Ooh, wow, we got some air. Yeah, there's a big update coming to this game in, uh, on the 9th. So, like, will be this stream and then, like, two more streams of this game planned before the update will happen. And when the update happens, we'll, we'll definitely be playing this still, I hope. And if not, we'll probably specifically play it after the update so we can see what everything is. See, and this stuff is just still going, like... It's, like... I cannot, st like, by now, like, this would have broken nine times in the course of us having this just running, but since this is just here, it's just been going. Because how the filters work is this first filter takes the majority of the damage. Like, this one takes, um, this one takes 400%, like, unfiltered water. This one takes 80% unfiltered water. This one takes 60 this one takes 40, and then this one filters the rest. So this one takes the least damage out of all of them. As you can see why, it's only like 19. Uh, it's at 19 wrenches left. As opposed to like, this one's like at 11. Like, that's just the, the just sheer difference of how often these would break down otherwise. But since those are being oh, filtering the water for the entire system, these don't break and all the stuff I have down there doesn't break either so it's just like it's so worth it to do it that do it this way alright oh let's crunch some gems up oh. how big are you now little onyx you're still not big enough Jesus Christ well we'll just keep that running for longer I guess we'll see how big of a dig this Claudium pick does because I don't really know how big it is I got a I got a vague idea when I was digging out some more of this stuff here at Ember Cradle but like we're about to really see how much dirt this thing can dig Whee! we got some pretty sick air now I'm hoping in the farming up update, which is the next update, it's gonna be like about farming, like industrial farming, with hopefully like water stuff to like let you like water your crops. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like you're already doing stuff with water and pipes. Why not something else that involves water and pipes, which is farming? <laughs> so I imagine it's gonna be like some industrial scale farming with like sprinklers and that kind of stuff, which sounds cool. Great to all know like much more than that, because I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm not making the update, I don't really know, <laughs> you know, but like... Anywho, let's see how fierce this pickaxe is. This is fairly high up the, uh, up the, the upgrade tree compared to, say, um... Well, it's not bad. I say as I, like decimate the dirt around here a 
Uh, <laughs> God. That's such a, a bad... That was such a bad jump. Uh, let's try from here, maybe. Yeah, see, e these pickaxes are still tier 2. The ones you upgrade, because, well... Yeah, they, they cut... They're, yeah, they're... Yeah. They're still tier 2, because, well... Tier 3 tools don't exist in the game yet, I guess. I don't know if they're ever going to, but they currently do not. So there's not really a baseline for them to, I guess, necessarily have Tier 3 tools modded. But maybe there is, and I'm just not... Don't Just don't cheese. That's actually a pretty big... I'm trying to get out of the hole. There we go. That's actually a pretty sizable uh, t crater. All right, well, that, that does some good work. So when it comes time to actually clear out the area for all this, which is going to be pretty soon, admittedly, we'll all be able to just clear out whatever area we want. Well, since that seems... Well, let's do a little bit more investigation here because this that's the level we're going to want our dirt to be at for the drills but for us that's going to be slightly different so let's get a few of these drills in place like I'm going to get more of these blocks put down all right closer to this direction We'll get a fourth one and we'll probably just call it good there because that's probably enough for this guy. Now let's figure that out, I guess. Not quite, so it's probably like five uh, little dudes. Five, uh, five little dudes. This is like the three blind mice, five little dudes. Oh no, this isn't a fucking way. No, it's cool. There we go. So five, five diggy digs. <laughs> That's the official unit of measurement. Five diggy digs. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna reformat some of this uh, area here for use of um, getting around more, more easily because we don't we're going to still keep this so we can get down here but we're not going to like rely on that like I just don't know what I was even doing. Like, we're going to have this area down here for these, but, like, when we're doing, doing the pipe stuff, like, let me just, we're going to move the pipes up here further, like, where they need to be for this guy, which is going to need to be, like, so... And yeah, these are gonna have to be spaced out a little further than the other ones, because the only way I can really think to do this is have like have a space between each of these so we can have the pipe there feeding water into all these. 
Which is unfortunate that it's going to take up more space, but there's so much space down here and it probably doesn't matter, honestly. So, we'll, we'll make, we'll get, we'll make do, you know. It's fine. But I at least want to get this set up so we can see how it's going to work. Uh, I think I have to do it the other way than what I was thinking. Because I was thinking have it all connected this line, but then how am I going to have the, power, the pressure gauge? The answer is I wouldn't, and that would be stupid. That would be a that would be a bad idea. I probably should just have this somewhere else anyway, but like... Um, I think we need to move this one. We'll just kind of grab all these and move them downstairs for now. At the very least, having all this stuff way up here means if stuff does fall, at least falls somewhere that's cleared out. <laughs> Okay, so, for now, at least, we're going to have the uh, pressure guy be up there, which means we're going to have to move all this crap again. That's probably the preferred layout for these for me, is that way. Uh, actually, I think I was onto something a little bit when it comes to these. Well, for now, because we only have like two of them, it'll work. It'll be fine. I think. I, I my depth perception is not always the best. Yeah, I, I got to move these down a little further. Up oh, <laughs> there, there you go. Oh, can can we stand on this bar? <laughs> you totally can. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh yeah, we're gonna need more uh, blocks. And we're gonna need to move this dirt down by one. God. All right, we're gonna we're gonna spend the time to actually like kind of figure out where these uh, the height where this stuff's gonna be at, so we can just kind of walk around it a little easier. Like I think it's gonna be that height. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be that height, so we're gonna start making a little, like, platform that lets us maneuver around things a little more easily. To the point of where we're gonna have a platform there, too. For now, we're just gonna move that out of the way. That way, like, the initial platform comes down to here, to a flat landing. And then we can just, if we really need to get down there further, we'll just move this stuff down. I mean, we're going to want to get down here, I guess. In the event that things change and I'm just wrong, which would not surprise me. 
Uh, that's good enough for now. And we're gonna get another block for there. I kind of have this kind of similar situation at Edinburgh Cradle as well, where I have like landings and stuff for all this stuff. Well, since we're not gonna be building much down here for now, we can just put the other stair in, and now we can just run up there whenever we need. Okay. We're gonna install that for the sake of not like running off <laughs> our little area accidentally and then off into just the void, I guess. Well, not really void because there's, it's, you know, it's the, the it's the hole. We know that hole very well. It's my hole. It was made for me. <laughs> All right, so. So for now, this will work where we can just uh, split off like that and do this. But the second we add more than two of these drills like this, it's uh, going to be uh, not functioning that way. Well, which means all that stuff I was doing just now to like get um, like that. I need to fix I need I need to fix you. Oh wait, no, I do my I I I I keep putting my foot directly in my mouth. Like firmly in there, I can I can taste I can taste the toe fungus. That's gross, but actually, what am I doing? I don't have to move this now. I'm losing my damn mind, getting distracted by myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is a shit show. Um, so now let's move these back. Just gonna move this over here for now just to get out of the way so I can properly work on this stuff. Alright, that should be now enough. I Damn it, whatever. <sighs> Honestly, I could just have this water pipe keep going down and have my conveyor belts down there for all the processing stuff, but I don't know yet. I didn't plan this very well. <laughs> As you can probably tell, this is a lot of very just on the fly stuff. In part because, you know, I just don't have the, the knowledge fully of how all this would properly work. That being said, it is funny that you can just kind of duplicate dirt like this. Because that's technically all the dirt we need. But I kind of don't like doing that unless I have to. Which, honestly, in this case, I'd almost say I had to. Just because... Oh, now you want to stand up straight, fucker. <laughs> Alright, so... We're gonna have to move this one further down so I can work in the same kind of idea I had, but. Which means this needs to move further over. Don't worry, dirt, the dirt can flow, it's fine. <laughs> F 
floating dirt is fine. Floating dirt is fine. You know what? I'm sure we'll need dirt later for some. Yeah, because these are going to have to alternate, I'm realizing. If I'm going to do things this way. Which is fine. It's not the end of the world. Uh, like, I'll, I'm sure I'll manage. But I just want to, like, see these things work in action. One singular time, at the very least. What am I... I don't know why I'm doing this. I have pipes down there I haven't moved yet. You know what? In, in the hole with the rest of you. <laughs> Well, it's not exactly as clean I was, as I was hoping this one was going to be. Well, if I move this one over by one more, it'd be a lot cleaner of a setup for this particular pipe. But, yeah, I don't care right now. I just want to see these work. And I can focus on getting the layout to be a little cleaner or nicer later. But I just want to see these actually function in real time. Oh, but of course I won't. It's not going to let me place this. Okay, fine. It let me this time. But I want to say I probably got lucky. <laughs> this game is very picky on where it lets you place things. Unless you're in creative mode, then, like, I mean, the, pl the placement process rather than, like, what it lets you place, I guess I should say. I mean, technically we can do that, but I have a feeling that's going to block out the, uh... It's going to block out our, uh, output, so we might have to move this stuff up by one more. Still. Hmm. Not the end of the world, I have a lot of those pipes left over. So I think we will just move stuff up by one more. We'll, we'll use these, uh, these those pipes anyway, so it's like uh, peace and quiet <laughs> for now. So I can do it that way. And if I move this one over by one, I could, you know, we'll just do it now. Because it, it just feels like it'd be more aesthetically pleasing to have. And that's like half of the game is just having something that doesn't look like dog shit. Because <laughs> it's really easy just to like throw something together and be like, hey, this is it. Lol. And then like that's it. It's just, it can and it not be very uh, nice looking. A game like this, like half of it is just like aesthetics. I'd say almost maybe even more than half. But yeah, I just... Yeah, we're gonna move all our stuff up by one. Which 
Which means all this too, which I don't know if that's gonna actually work properly. It might, it might not, it might work fine moving it up as, because I think I was trying to move things further down. I think I was clipping or something. So maybe it'll be fine. I hope it is, because this is, again, me not planning properly, but whatever, you know. So it goes. Sometimes you just kind of got to do, you got to do the thing sometimes, and there's no, 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 no amount of planning is going to prepare you for the shenanigans that occur. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes it's better just to kind of do it. Thankfully, in this case, it worked out in my favor because that's very easy to fix. We just put another block, and there we go. We'll have to move this stuff up some more, but whatever. That's not a problem. I will finish the job of replacing all these ladders, though. That's annoying. We can't get rid of that yet. <clears throat> Something I am going to want to do, like, before I get too carried away and forget to do it, is... Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Phone just started going. Ur, 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 ur. Is, we need to get some of this dirt. And like put it in like one of these pans. Actually, we, we need to get a uh, bucket. Like an actual, honest to goodness, bucket. I guess we can just go back to the Ember Cradle and grab one, because I'm going to go back and check on the... I want to go back and check on that, um... On the Onyx grind. Because that's what kind of what it is, is we're just kind of grinding out stuff at the Ember Cradle for, an on for enough Onyx. To make the next level up of Pickaxe. And I think the last one takes a lot of scrap, but... Scrap you can get yourself by just, like... Turning things into scrap, like buying like a bunch of stuff and then taking it to the scrapyard. Yeah, I guess we could buy a bucket here, but I, I'm just gonna go back and check on it at the, the Onyx grind anyway, because like that Onyx that we have currently is the, literally the same Onyx we've had the entire time, this whole playthrough. Which, Onyx is just that slow to acquire in large amounts, so it's usually not worth using it to, like... I mean, main game doesn't have any use for it anyway, but, like, in the case of this, it's not worth it to use it in jewelry. Like, at all. Come on. Really? Fine. Now it says, let's turn this off. No. Never mind, you, you kind of have to have water pressure to do that. Jesus Christ. All right, Onyx, what do you got? Just shy. God damn it. Now, middle, this thing is spinning out a bunch of stuff at once, so. It's only a matter of time till it happens, it's just, when is that matter of time gonna be? 
Anyway, I think we have an extra bucket somewhere around here. And if not, we'll just go buy one from the store that's... Now, one of the main advantages of Ember Cradle is that the shop is, like, right here. Like, I just leave some money in here for buying the odd little thing. But, like, the shop is right there, so if you use those uh, crates and buy stuff from other shops, or use those crates in general, you can use that to restock on stuff. So that does make this place a really good place. Like, it's, it's worth your time setting up here initially, anyway. Because that gets you all the money you need to do places like South Hope or whatever, like we're doing now. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay. The, the bucket has got its own uh, idea about what gravity is. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. It's just gonna maintain the, f the floating nature of of its life I guess I don't know yeah the reason we want this bucket is because that's gonna let us have a uh, it's gonna let us get four scoops of dirt to put into a uh, four scoops of dirt to put into a uh, pan instead of just like one which means like a much bigger clump of dirt so we're gonna use that to preserve dirt because I think once we get like the like the final pickaxe of that tree, we that lets us just like basically nuke all the dirt on the map. On I guess not the map, but like this map. And we want to do that before we get these all really too set up, I guess, because otherwise we'll just have to go get dirt from somewhere. It's like let's pour this out. See, that's like a very sad piece of dirt. Oh, <laughs> bucket was still floating. <laughs> but if we go ahead and grab, uh, can we just put you in there like that? Yeah, we can actually. We do that. It should be a bigger bunch of. I mean, that's not much bigger, but that's still better. And we're gonna. For the, for the sake of, I don't know, we're going to move this over here so that we have some dirt in reserve. Because you can use that one dirt to make more dirt. Since when you place down a, a like this is a voxel-based game, so things aren't, like, precise. It's like when you put down, like, a clump of dirt, it it's, in fact, actuality worth more than one clump of dirt. It's, just, it's weird. I don't really know how to, like, explain it. Are these all the same? Okay, they are. So we're gonna have to move this guy. We'll, we'll, we'll pick it up later. Yeah, I need to move this over by one. <clears throat> this is an awful lot of effort for all this and hopefully it's better dirt. Because I don't really even know how big the dirt is going to be from this. But hopefully it's significantly better than what we've had before. To justify just all this extra bullshit we've got to do. Because I'll tell you what. It's a lot of extra bullshit that we got to do. We're also going to put that underneath there. So that we can um, not lose all of our shard bars. If we try to place it and it just kind of doesn't want to go. I don't know why I did that just now. Uh, where's our shovel? Oh, it's up top because I was playing with dirt. I was playing in the dirt! <laughs> Alright, so let's...
Um, well, that's fun. I guess you can see I got turned up into just more dirt than it has any right to actually be. There we go. That's all the dirt that we need for that one. <laughs> it doesn't make sense why it works that way, but it, it definitely works that way. Are you still... Okay, I was like, are you still going to manage somehow to fucking fall down there? It, it thought about it. Traitorous shovel. <laughs> all right. like the most awkward place to fucking place this shit. Alright, that's better. Okay, then that one needs to move up higher. Actually, no, we don't need that one now because we're, we've we, we, we ex explicitly changed things so that it wouldn't be needed. Now we just got <laughs> random floating garbage. All right, well, those are technically hooked up to the water, I think. Let's get this shard bar. We'll put it in our little, little put it in the chamber here. Really? Get, get in the hole. Get in the hole. Thank you. I'm actually going to open this because if this is open, the stuff behind it doesn't get water. So we're going to make sure these are actually on first. There we go. Those should be on now. Maybe? Oh! That might be the case that the filters down yonder are actually busted already. Let's find out. I mean, there hasn't really been anything going on, so I don't know why they would be, but it's good. It's good. That, yep, they're okay. That actually makes sense, because they're filtering the water even if nothing is, like, using that water. But yeah, this is what it looks like one of them is broken. I was wondering, I was like, why isn't it working? The answer is, shit's a little broke. Well, I guess now's a good time as any to go get that uh, situation figured out for the uh, logic stuff. Because we want that in place anyway, you know? So let's see, do we have any more of these little trash crates that are empty? This one? Okay. So we got the trash crate here. Any other ones that are glorious trash? Glorious trash. We're just going to leave these here. We might use them. We might not. I don't even know at this point because I didn't expect their light to be that bad. I haven't used them in a minute. So we're just going to remove them so that we can use the crate for what we more things we actually want because we're going to want to buy multiple things. Okay, that works fine, right? I can just kind of stack those. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine too. Do we have any other trash crates? You probably just need to buy some trash crates because they're useful for if you don't need a lot of certain things, but you want to have more than stack more than one, which is what we need specifically because we're gonna need. Uh, we're going to move these because we're not going to need those. Because we're going to need like five greater than or equal twos. And like, actually, you know what? We're going to go back to the number cradle so I can see the exact numbers of what we need. 
I'll also probably buy, buy, probably get a few more trash crates for buying that stuff anyway. So let's go, we're gonna go on a little journey. Because I, I definitely want this logic setup going before I even think about doing anything else. With um, fixing anything, because I don't want to have to be fixing those myself. Okay, yeah, we're going to buy like... Why are these so hard to buy? What? Whatever. You know what funniest thing? I wonder if you can, um, well, we're gonna buy this one at least. I wonder if we can use crates to buy other crates. Like, let's, uh, grab this. I mean, that would be... <laughs> you can! You can use crates to buy other crates. Which with how annoying they are to buy. Well, we're literally using a crate to buy ten other crates of its same kind. Crates on crates on crates. <laughs> That's fine though, because these trash crates are actually fairly useful. Anyway, onward, back to the ember crate also that we can not only check on our pickaxe status, because we just need like one more onyx to basically make it worth going back to the cradle to do the upgrade. We also need to see how many of the uh, logic things we need. Alright. Home sweet home. My brain had a misfire. Yes, we finally have it. All right. All right, the next one is the Claim Destroyer, which is the one I was talking about. And let's see, that needs a million, a million pound scrap bar. Before we do that, which I'm sure we can figure out how to get that done, um, we're gonna need to, um, see how this works. But before even that, well, let's put this in our, our truck here. Let's see how many of each of these we need, because we need five readers, five, uh, hurling kits, and then one, two, one, two, two... Two elbows, two straights. So I need ten elbows, ten straight uh, logic thingies. Five equals, and the five of these guys. All right, I think that's. I think we got all the brain power. Well, I'm gonna actually write it down in a notepad real quick because I'm gonna forget by the time we get there. Uh, let's be. Let's be real. Let's be absolutely 100% like real. Like I'm gonna just forget that shit before I even before I even get where I need to go with it. So ten logic straight, ten L elbow, five then equal splitters five well let's I can't remember what those things are called like these guys but I'm sure I'll figure out what they are so it's gonna be like five constant 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 one switch okay 
Cool. So now I can pull that up whenever I actually get there. It's like my little shopping list. Like, I legitimately have, like, a, me and my roommate have, like, this app that we have on our phones that lets us see a shared shopping list so that we can, like, write down stuff we need to buy from the store because we're both bad at forgetting what we need from the store. Or at least I am specifically bad. So it helps me and, I guess, cumulatively helps us <laughs> in that case. But, all right. Let's go buy that logic stuff. But before that, we're going to buy just a bunch of spanners here. Do I even have any money in here? I do. Let's split off a... Well... I'll probably end up just buying them from Bridgeport from now on, so we're, we'll just pay for these here. I just wanted some spanners to get us started for the thing we're going to be buying. So we'll just kind of put you in the back there. Okay, nice. Okay. So now we've got a bunch of trash crates that we can use to buy the odds and ends that we need. It's going to save us time and, and effort. Which are the things that are in shortest supply. Because I'll tell you what. Like, I'm I need to, like, this week I need to try to work on my, uh, my layout. Because it's kind of bad. Like, it's not, it's, it's, I've had the same layout for a long time. And it needs to kind of match a little more of what and who I am now. As opposed to, like, just being kind of generic like it is. I mean, it's still, I'm still going to have the Black Lives Matter because obviously that matters but I'm gonna probably have that across the top and then have whatever else is on the side on the side like the stuff that's on the sidebar top of the sidebar there is gonna go on the top bar and then the sidebar is gonna be just kind of styled in a different way I guess I don't know uh, let's see A repeater, that's the thing I need. So I need re logic repeater. I need like five of those. I'm gonna real quickly pull up that list. Okay, so let's get out a trash crate. Logic repeater, need five of you. We'll just go ahead and move you onto the the little the the purchasing platform. And uh, see. Okay, are greater than equals, because you need one of these for each. Wait, can I not grab trash crates out of the trash crate? Um, well, that makes it a lot less useful. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, all right, cool, I guess. Um, well, I know something we could turn to fucking scrap then, I guess, is these, because whatever. I didn't want, I didn't want them anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to need like three more trash crates. That's okay, we can show off the scrapyard thing we're gonna eventually need for getting that million scrap. Like, we're just gonna just fucking fry this. Get out of my sight. Well, that can just kind of exist, I guess. We're gonna need to. Um... Okay, so we have one. We have one trash crate. 
So we need three more specifically for this order. So we're gonna go buy them. Thankfully, the short stop shop for them is just right down here anyway. I guess it's kind of poetic that you can't use crates to, bu to store other crates, otherwise it just kind of breaks. <sighs> That's okay, we'll have to carry these one at a time up the hill. Thankfully, it is just right up the hill, so it's not the end of the world. Just a little bit of an inconvenience. We'll just bring him up here first, and then we'll uh, figure out the other logistics. Yeah, cause I'm there's there's a there's a decent chance I'm on call tomorrow for the holiday, so I'm definitely not gonna be doing anything super substantial. So if I am on call, then oh well, I guess I'm on call. But if not, then I'm definitely gonna be working, trying to work on that new layout. Cause I've I've had a vague idea on what I want from a layout, but I've just not had time that I want to dedicate to it. Well, you know. I, I don't know. Okay, I need five of you. And I need ten elbows. And ten straights. Still way better than buying all this crap manually. Even me running, having to run to the store to buy other crates. It's still way better. Oh, I also need the readers too. I need like five. We're gonna we're gonna buy a few more cr crash crates. Actually, we're gonna split off some money anyway. Like, let's see. That's uh. Like, we'll split off that much money and just leave it kind of down in that area. And if we really want money, we could just go do stuff with the gold that's being made at Ember Cradle, because that money is not really super tangible unless you need stuff. Otherwise, it's not really used for anything specifically. I mean, I guess that makes sense. That's kind of how money is in real life, too. Like, it's just kind of a, it's like a concept that is divorced from any actual tangible use unless you need goods or services to exchange. You know... It's it's one of those it's just one of those things, I guess. All right, well there's our crates and we're gonna put this money in this store because we're gonna we're likely gonna need to come back here to buy more stuff at some point anyway, so we'll just leave that money there. And let's take these up top. So we can buy the. Uh, the doohickeys that we need because we need a uh... I think it was these 
hurling unit when any value greater or bigger than zero is entered, hurls spanner forward. Yeah, these these are the, the where the magic happens. We need five of these. I need to go grab the other crate, I guess. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> as much as I like to focus on like mostly just like the gameplay for my stuff like there's a reason why I have like the majority of my screen being the game screen like it still would be nice to have something that doesn't look like kind of just bleh that said I've I've made everything of it myself and I will continue to do so because I'm stubborn to a fault <laughs> okay and then we need five of these So basically all that setup seems to like be costing like 10 grand, not including the tool bags themselves, but that's still very cheap for what it for what it does for us or what it will do for us rather. All right, now I'll just load all these crates onto the here and hopefully there's no problems cuz sometimes these crates do not react kindly to being put in a small place. Like sometimes they'll just decide to divorce themselves from this world entirely and just start and get flung somewhere. <laughs> it's like I must. It's like I must go. My people need me. Still, this is way faster than it would have been if I would have just bought all this stuff manually and piled it in the truck, cause. As you can see, things pi just pile, like once they hit the truck bed, they just kind of stack up. And that includes stuff that aren't in these boxes, at least, so. You can theoretically do this in vanilla, quote unquote, without these boxes. You can just pretty much pile them in and with without much consequence, but it just takes longer to do. And it's more tedious to move all the things individually. Yeah, for, for now, we're going to just roll our truck over here and start setting this stuff up. Okay, the hurling units, those need to go... I want to say they go vertically, like this. We're gonna, for now, we're gonna use our crates as a little step ladder to get up here where we need to be. This is so goofy how this works, but it, it, I mean, if it works, it works, you know? Alright, cool. So. Let's see. Logic, durability reader, spanner hurling unit. I think that one was right here, yeah. And I essentially want this to be visible here for e for every single one of these uh, thingies. And those are going to go there. And we're going to have like a little stepladder kind of system for getting up there to more easily repair these or supply them with things to repair rather.
See, now that I know this, how the system is set up, it's so simple, but, like, figuring it out in the first place through, like, context clues and just random Reddit garbage, this is a, was a little frustrating, I will, I will say. Okay, and then each of these durability readers. <clears throat> Needs to go up there. Okay, then we need uh, the logic greater thans. Which need to be this way specifically because that's how I have them set up at the other place. Like I'm doing everything exactly how it's set up at the other place. So if it doesn't work, I blame God. Okay, and now next go the uh, logic repeaters. Which I w would like to go this way, just for consistency's sake, that's how I have it at the other place. I figure I might as well just have it be the same. <clears throat> now we could have all this stuff way further down the line. But eh, I don't really mind. I don't really mind having to have a reason to come up down here every once in a while. This is like a long-term setup, anyway. Like, and if you wanted to get really um, silly with it, you could have like a secondary line of these all hooked up. That is like not like turned on, and then like use like. Uh, valves, I guess, to activate it. Like, you could have, like, this pipe here split off to another one. And then have that one, before it gets to this, have a valve where water doesn't actually go to it. And then have a valve on, like, the other end, too, so that... It, it's 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 extra for no real good reason because this last this setup one that set up lasts a long time, like a long ass time. Like, all right. So now we need uh, get our straight logic cables going. Uh, I guess that's also the advantage of using this as like a little step ladder is that um, we can just grab down and reach out and grab some pipes or cables or whatever. Okay. We're going to set these up like in the sequence that they're going to need to be in. I fail. I fall and I can't get up. Although I totally can. I mean, obviously I, I'm getting up. <laughs> okay, I can just reach through there. I don't have to do any fancy acrobatics. Which is good because I'm not very acrobatic. In this life or this game. Alright, and then we need the other straight cables here. 
Again, this would have been a lot easier to set up if I had like blocks already up here or whatever, but I'm just kind of I'm just kind of going for it. <laughs> okay, I think it was yeah, I think it was that one, the second one there. Well, now we got those far ones set up, it's a little easier to kind of get these other ones in place anyway. Um, excuse me, what? Oh, they got, they got, they got placed somewhere else. I was like, what just happened to my pipes? Because they got picked up and then they got slurped into this one instead, which is was a little um, confusing to say the least. All right, so now last thing we got put in place are uh, other than the the spanners themselves, these elbows. Alright, those are all hooked up. Floating plant. <laughs> Okay, that's already how I want it to be, so good. Oh, look at that, my bussy! It is popping. How are you doing, Birdie? We are setting up a, um, think of like a redstone kind of system, but in this game, so that we can have these auto repair these uh, water filters. Bean too hot for internets. Big bean naturals, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so we're gonna put this in. Oh no! Okay, so we're going to have to move these to the top side of the, uh... <laughs> yeah, we got to move these to the top side of these pipes. For this to properly work. I kind of forgot about that. That's okay. It's, it's an easy fix. But how is Birdie doing today? Well, after that embarrassing display, let's uh, do this a little better. Still alive? Shit. I mean, good, good. <laughs> it's totally how. That's totally what I meant, right? Yeah. Good. We're gonna use these little crates as like a little stepping stool for now, cause whatever. I'll get proper blocks placed, <laughs> put over here soon. But now, Ryan just want to make sure we can actually get this to function properly good is now it is working how it's supposed to so what happens is these uh these are dur durability readers they check the durability of these uh of these and they read out that durability as a value now these are greater than equal to pipes when when that value on over there is equal to this or greater than that this sends a signal and repairs these that over there is a, a value of 1. So when these are like 1 durability or less, they'll get repaired. And this is how many spanner repairs are in each of these, so... 
We're gonna be uh, fixing this up to be a little more user friendly, to say the least, because right now it's a little um, not <laughs> user friendly. But the big thing is, I want to. That was the precursor to us actually getting some of our new machines at the new place live. And I want to see those work, because I've never used these drills. Other than earlier when I tested to see if they'd work down there, and they didn't, but. It's just raining dirt everywhere right now, but like... Okay, they, they, they function, so we're gonna probably turn that stuff off again. After we kind of clean up a little bit of our mess here. So those function, which is great. There's a bunch of little dirt nuggets over here that we're just gonna have to kind of clean up. Supposed to combine, not. S yeah, thank you. Sometimes it just doesn't want to function the way it's supposed to. I mean, early access game kind of part of the part of part of the part of the fun, I guess. But like. Stacking rocks on top of each other. Those might already be max size, but I was expecting bigger dirt from this, admittedly. Because I was thinking that these would get you bigger dirt, but. I don't know, maybe they'll just get you faster dirt than the tier ones, I'm not sure. Unga Bunga Stack Rock, yeah, just like the old, oh there's a bunch of more dirt right here. Unga Bunga Stack Rock. Stack Rock for clubbing mammoth to death earlier, I, later I guess, I don't know. I'm me Unga Bunga, me not no word. Me no not word. <laughs> well, let me get the uh, crate that you have specifically for these freaking uh, those uh, pipes, straight pipes. Wherever that crate ended up, I don't know where it currently is. Is it? It's not up here somewhere, is it? Doesn't look like it. Uh, it was, it's not down here. I must have had it up top when I was like building the pipeline because we had to like build this whole pipeline from like the the, the, the ocean basically. Okay, it's it's over here. Oh come on, you're gonna get stuck there, rude. Fine, I'll carry you down myself. And yeah, we're gonna put away these pipes we're not using right now just because they're kind of in the way. <laughs> Carry me, baby. Huh? Just gonna, just gonna, just gonna, you know, pick you up like this pipe and just shove you in a box. I guess huh? it's, the, it's the way of the world. Hi, Pookie. I hear you yelling in there, little little goober. Huh? So romantic. <laughs> just gonna, just gonna. Pick. So romantic. <laughs> 
I read that as romantic because I figured that's what you meant to say, but then I was like, oh yeah, it's romantic. <laughs> you just pick, just just pick them up and just pick them up and just shove them in a box. We got some dirt, I guess. Even more dirt. Can I stack the little, the big dirt on the little dirt? Okay, it doesn't quite work that way. There's our little dirt family. <laughs> See, you got, you got the mom, you got the other mom, you got the other mom. This is a polycule. Uh, you got, you got the four moms, and then you got the one child. It's a dirt polycule. <laughs> Little Dirt and their four lesbian moms. <laughs> uh, we have just other pipes up here. Yeah, we, we just have other stray pipes. Okay, so that's all good to go. We're gonna have to, like, make it look less shit. But other than that, yeah, I will... We gotta go to the store to buy more uh, wooden uh, stairs to make our dream a reality. Gabu. 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 Hello, Neck. Oh, you're not Necky. I'm stupid. Hello, three cheese. <laughs> I think I think Neki would have done the, uh, the the sound alert and scared the piss out of me like like they usually do. You're like, you're like that's not my name. That's not my name. <laughs> I just looked. Was like, oh, that's probably Neki at this point in the day. But you know what? It's fine. Hello, you're also very welcome here. Why why is it, why are you in the? F I mean, you you are containing concrete floors, but why are you in the floor? Are you just like acting the part, I guess. I don't know. That is fair. I can respect the, the not wanting to get up and go to the computer. Alright, um... You know, we're gonna, we're gonna just go buy the ladders that I want. Or, they're not ladders, they're stairs, but I call them ladders anyway because they look kind of like ladders. Even though they're definitely not ladders. Like, those are stairs, but they look like ladders to me. Because they kind of are, but they kind of aren't. I don't know. They're just like... Anyway. <laughs> oh, my truck's over. I was like, where the hell did I put my truck? How did I lose my truck? I'm very talented at losing things. I'll tell you what. I'm very good at it. I'm a master. <laughs> Oh, while we're here, we can test out this Onyx pickaxe I finally got the stuff to make. Let's go to a nice, like, unspoiled patch of dirt and just dig and see how big of a hole this does, because... The next pickup of this is called the Claim Destroyer. And I think it literally deletes all the dirt on your claim. So... It'll be really nice for just getting it all done at once. But, like, this pickaxe is pretty, uh, beefy. Meaty, even. Like, god damn. It's pretty good. Now, the thing we need to make the claim story is like a, a million pound freaking scrap iron, uh, scrap metal bar, which is not going to be impossible to get, but it's going to take a minute. The technical machine machine. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the, it's the, it's the machine that lets you make other machines <laughs> using Pokemon pieces. Oh. 
I got st stopped by a torch. I think. I'm gonna have to move those fuckers out of the way. Well, the way I'm probably gonna end up getting the the scrap, I don't know how much scrap weighs compared to its value, but I'll probably end up just buying nukes and turning them into scrap uh, scrap metal. All right, but what I'm doing right this second is getting more uh, stairs, so I can more easily uh, access the little repair shop, the repair part that I'm working on. Actually, I'm vaguely curious on how that's going to actually work, so we're going to just test it now. We're going to buy one of these, um, like we're going to buy one of these trash crates, because, I mean, we can always use more of them. They can hold, they can hold ten things, which is still useful, but the best part about them is that when you buy stuff with them, they don't increase in, in, uh, cost, because, like, if you see this, um, this, uh, glorious crate, it can hold 500 things. But everything you buy with that is 18% uh, more expensive. And when you're buying nukes that are 26 grand a piece or so, that can get a little out of hand. So we're going to carry this up here and buy 10 nukes. Well, we have to go get our money from downstairs, but like 10 nukes is. 260k and we're just doing this to see how big of a scrap uh yeah i've already blown up like probably at least like 10 or so nukes at that place down there over there that i'm working on now <clears throat> just ra just radiate just radiation like nuclear fallout everywhere but no the character doesn't doesn't even really seem to have bones in this game so it's hard to really say What, what, what's going on, you know? And what we're doing with these nukes is we're not going to blow them up. We're going to turn them into scrap. Because I want to see... We have 260k worth of nukes. I want to see how what that equals in, uh, like, uh... Like, what that equals in, um... Me in scrap metal. That's probably the way I'm going to get it, admittedly, because I'm sure it has, like, a function based off of the uh, weight or, like, the value of something. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out what the best way to do that is. So we're doing some real-life science, because this, this would make sense, right? Like, you got all these, nu like, nuclear warheads, and then you're just going to turn them into just a little, just a little block. <laughs> I mean, could probably cheese it and use the scale they have here just to see. Okay, so. The weight and the value are actually equal. So we turned 260k into 65,000 worth of this. That's gonna be all. That's a little. Gonna be a little more than I expected. Then again, we could just directly turn gold into scrap at this place too. We could get like a gold bar worth like. A million dollars and like scrap it and do it do it that way instead of spending money on stuff like that but we need to run up and grab our money so we don't forget it otherwise I'm like where's all my money and the answer is at this store <laughs> so we're probably gonna end up just um, We got our stairs, that's what we mostly came here for. Mostly. 
buy stuff. It just says buy stuff, yeah. <laughs> it's very on the nose. Faux bricks, fancy furniture. Faux brick. All right, well. So, I'm get, so next stream we're gonna, this is where we're gonna focus more on actually getting like a conveyor belt system going for all these drills and stuff. But I think the rest of the stream we're gonna finish setting up the. Uh, the little like repair situation over there where we can easily get up there and do stuff moan huh well oh well looks like the car looks like our truck had some ideas that it just wanted to slide through the the world well hello moog level 69 moog perfect well i hope that the level 69 moog is having a good a good day Move this crap out of the way. <clears throat> and I appreciate you for your patronage. Oh, it's actually standing up. Alright. Alright, so we need these stairs. We're gonna come over here. Uh, I'm doing I'm doing about as good as I really can be. Like sinuses are still fucking me up. But I'm trying my best to deal with them and just stream, you know? It's what we do. It's what we do here. <laughs> so we're gonna put these floors all up here. We're gonna have a little, uh. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. So with this, we can get up here a lot more easily to, um, huh? okay, so now this one is broken, but we don't have any spanners in yet, so that's why it's looking like a little, looking a little sad there. We're just doing this to make it easier to um, repair and access all the stuff up here. <clears throat> it's it is it is a bit witchery. It's a it's a mod that lets you um, buy multiple things at once and lets you store things, and it's super helpful. Otherwise, I would not have gotten nearly as much done today as I did because. Doing everything the vanilla way is just really slow. Like buying all these pipes individually, stacking them individually in like your truck. Yeah, no thanks. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I'm gonna do this. Um, so let's grab a tool bag. I'm sure we'll just kind of crouch and, as you see, that one was broken, but this um, had a tool bag in it, so I was able to fix it. We're gonna just kind of fill these up with what we have here. Toolbag sounds like something you would just call someone, like, What's up, Toolbag? <laughs> like, just, like, you're just being an asshole. It's like, you're acting like a real Toolbag right now. <laughs> oh, oh no, it's actually something people say. <laughs> I was just trying to be funny. I was just trying to have some hee hee ha ha's. I didn't mean to make trauma. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I have no idea. <laughs> it, it's like I, I play old school RuneScape, and the vampires call like humans like meat sacks. <laughs> it's just kind of like one of those kind of like weird insults. Like yo, meat sack. <laughs> Or like food sack or something like that. It's that's kind of like where my thought process was with that. Oh, 
Well, we got all these crates here now, just kind of hanging out. We're gonna take our concrete floor or floor box back over here. Okay, here is our um, our onyx pickaxe. It digs quite a bit, as you can tell. This is a very strong pickaxe. This is a modded pickaxe, by the way. The, the base game pickaxe is very. Um, not good. N not sim almost that onyx. It's the onyx with a Y, like the gemstone. It, if it was an onyx pickaxe, it would like dig no dirt whatsoever because onyx is bad. <laughs> onyx is you know a fine enough Pokemon, but it's just not a very good Pokemon. Like it is a very um, underwhelming Pokemon, you could say. Um. Crystal Onyx is cool, yeah. I will re I will admit the Crystal Onyx is pretty sweet. All right, well we got like eight minutes left before I end my stream. Basically, I'm just trying to find stuff productive I can do in the time. Well, we got all these little fun blocks here. Do I have a uh, the magnet stick somewhere? Blow something up. Okay. So I've got some spare nukes laying around. We can just blow up this like hillside, I guess. See how much is left afterwards. Now I will be muting like my my mic and my um my I'll be muting my mic in this the desktop audio because this shit is loud. Like un like ringing like a really loud ringing noise loud. It's like painful for it's painful loud. No you no you can. There's there's nukes. We're gonna see this shit. You, you brought you brought this on yourself. We're gonna I'm gonna still mute it so that y'all don't have to hear it. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah I'm not gonna have everyone have to hear that. I'm not gonna I'm not that I'm not gonna we're gonna blow it up, but I'm gonna mute the mic because if I don't mute my desktop mic, it's so loud that it comes out of bleeds through my headphones into the desktop mic. <laughs> it gets that fucking loud, but. Okay, so we're gonna steer clear of that for a second. I'm gonna mute desktop audio. And I'm gonna mute my mic. I'm gonna mute my I'm gonna mute my mic and then I'm gonna blow this up and so we can Oh I I guess, but it really doesn't need to be in this case. <laughs> Kaboom, and the stains are gone! <laughs> Holy mother of shit, fuck. Exactly. Alright, I'll turn the desktop audio back on. There we go. And it looked us in this nice little cube that was once the, uh, the lever that we used to set off the nuke. Because <laughs> it got, like, scrapified. That makes me wonder, can you turn your truck into scrap? I'm curious. I'm I'm grimly curious. We're gonna we're gonna clear off everything out of the truck. <laughs> and I wanna see if you can turn your truck into scrap. <laughs> Cause I'm now very just I'm just like, hmm. Hmm. I, I want I'm gonna we're gonna try to blow the truck up. <laughs> I really want to now, actually. Truck's not very expensive anyway, and we're like right down from the road where you buy it can buy one anyhow. So you know it's this is more for a, a last minute fun time kind of thing. All right, so we're gonna get we're gonna we're gonna grab the nuke and we'll put it in the truck there like this, so we can transport this stuff. Right, we're gonna I guess. Try to 
back it up carefully around the holes that I've made in this. You know what? Unstuck there. Now we're away from that shit. And we're going to roll over here. We'll go to a nice flat area, I guess. <laughs> this is flat enough. <laughs> it's whole mountain. Alright, so what we're going to do is to ensure that this is in the blast radius, we're going to like... Put it like under the truck if we can. <clears throat> uh, let's see, where is this at? You know what? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I don't think the truck appreciated getting doing that. <laughs> the truck went south for the winter. <laughs> that was, you know what? We're gonna do this a little differently. We're gonna put the stuff in place and then park the truck. That's probably a smarter way to, <laughs> to fucking. Do. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> that 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 was not int I, I did not plan that. I thought it was just gonna like sit there and just take it, but these trucks are. I should have known because these trucks are a little um, aggressive. So we're gonna just like kind of park it next to this, I guess. <laughs> well, you're more than free to clip it if you'd like. And if you do, please let me know so I can like I don't know have access to it to put on my Discord. Uh, so I'm gonna we're gonna mute up again. I'm gonna mute the desktop audio, and then I'm gonna mute my mic, and we're gonna blow, try to blow this truck up. Well, unfortunately, the truck seems to be indestructible. It's just kind of in the hole now. I was kind of suspecting it might be indestructible, but I also just didn't, you know, try. This is cool. There's like a bit of mushroom cloud in the truck, though. Truck got stuck in a hole, and we get a little cube for our troubles. We could parkour off the truck to try to get out of the hole. I'm trying my best not to be stuck in- up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just use the truck to parkour our ass out of the hole. Well, that was fun. Oh. Oh. I don't know what happened with the game just now, but it was not happy. Oh. Well, thankfully, we can just use the unstuck command and get out of the hole. This game is really great for having that command where you can just like kind of get back to like a safe place Regardless of what fucker you got yourself into Well, let's grab the little cube waste not want not Of all the videos I've watched people play this game with I've never seen anyone like try to blow up the truck So it was, it was that was a science experiment for sure uh, do we have the little magnet stick here somewhere? Could have swore I bought one, but I just don't know where it is. Hmm. Well, that's okay. We can just move the the smelter instead. Combine all this scrap together in one bar. All these little cubes are from uh, when I've set off nukes. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm just not using the nukes anymore. They just don't do enough for how much they cost. And plus, the noise is really an obnoxious. So We're going to just work on getting the million scrap so we can make the claim destroy pickaxe. We'll destroy all the dirt. All this dirt will just be gone, which would be a lot nicer to deal with because then we can work with a clean slate. 
Uh, I think we had another uh, bar ingot or whatever somewhere over here. See, I play different games that call things bars and ingots interchangeably. Like, like, um, like RuneScape calls them bars. Minecraft calls them ingots, and this game calls them bars. So I'm just like, what the fuck do I call this shit? <laughs> Alright, um, this bar or ingot or whatever is this is a uh, sixty-five thousand pound one. We need much more than that. Oh god. What we're gonna probably start doing is um, start turning um, just gold into this kind of stuff with uh, the scrapping thing. Ingots are ingots, yeah. Well, that's probably about all we've got really time for right now is that we did. We did actually get something done. I wanted to do, which is getting at least some of this stuff. Don't tell Jedi I have gold. He'll be like, I want your gold! He'll shoot me with a cannon or something. <laughs> he'll be like, oh! He'll just like, he'll just crash in, he'll just clip through the sky in his pirate ship and just fucking come take my gold. I, mean, I guess one thing we can do before we end real quick is we can take our indestructible truck, which probably should still have water in it, right? Yeah, okay. Yep, still has water in it. Just, it's just fine. It's perfectly fine. Hi, Bubba. Woo! 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 Yeah, the truck's just like, you know what? The water's fine. Come on in. The water's fine. Yeah, I want to see how much, um... Let's get our money. I don't know why I even... Uh, I took the money out because I was going to blow up the truck and I didn't want to blow up the money. Yeah, the water's fine. No big deal. Yeah, we're going to... We're going to go back to the other claim where we still have stuff going at. Like, all this time. Yeah, that's my kitty. He's being noisy. He's a very vocal boy, and I love him for that. My the cat I had the cat I had before him well, was pretty feral, and he wasn't very vocal or noisy. He was kind of quiet, which I loved him for it. I loved him for you know the cat, cat he was, but like my my kitty is very vocal. His name's Spooky, and he's he makes himself known most of the time, unless he's trying to hide, and then he doesn't. But when he's just trying to run around, be noisy. Big sleep. Hello, Necky. We're about done with the stream today, but thanks for tuning in anyway. It's nice seeing you. Wee clunk. All right. The last thing we're doing with the stream is we're going to take this gold bar, combine it with whatever gold we have currently at this place, because this has been just like making stuff this entire time, the whole stream. Oh, we have leftover onyx. We're going to put that in here. Cause this is the setup we have at this place. Just making stuff for us. But yeah, we're gonna turn the water off real quick. And we're gonna take the gold out of here. And that's now eight, eight, 80,000 pounds of gold. Yeah, all the, all the gems get sorted and put into here. Like, we, we, we sort out everything else into their, their respective little bins. And then the gems all go in here and they can get smunched together to be just big gems. Like, we'll turn it back on now. After we get the uh, Cloudium out, too. And then we can, uh... Oh, here comes, here comes some more gems. kind of trying to get to where there's not any gems coming forward to get smunched up before I do this but there's just a lot of stuff like it's the lots of stuff coming through here all right come on there we go oh come on game 
So now you get some big ass gemstones. That's fun. I like, I like making big gemstones. Like all the little ones get smunched together in this compressor. Anyway, let's get our gold and we're gonna go blow this gold up. Big ass gem. <laughs> big ass. The biggest ass you've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, the Claudium we're saving to uh, make more drills later, because that's the key, one of the key components of making those Tier 2 drills that we have now that we're going to be using is Claudium. Hydrate. Thank you. Thank you. I got some coffee left over. going to drink that. Ugh. We're about done with the stream, because it's a little past 11, and then me and my roommate need to make lunch before I go to work. But I wanted to do this. But I, yeah, I wanted to do this before we end the stream. I will I will eat, Moog. Thank you. Thank you for your concern. <clears throat> You're very kind. Uh, let's, oh, yep, scrap. We were also going to buy a uh, scale from the store before we go to the scrapyard so I can kind of weigh everything before... Uh, well, I already have a thingy here. I already have... I forgot I already put money here. <laughs> Well, I think that's a good quality to have. Alright, so we're gonna... We can't place this thing over here, I don't think. <clears throat> but we can drop it and it'll still, like, function how it's supposed to, even though it's not technically, like, placed. I mean, we're gonna have to place it a little, somewhere a little better than that, but... Like, if we just, like, drop it, like, right here... It's technically not placed in the world, but it's in the world, and it does weigh things, so it's kind of like a cheesy way to kind of be able to weigh stuff in places you're not really meant to be able to weigh stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to weigh this bar before we blow it up, just so we can see what the conversion rate is, because I don't really... I, I'm sure I could look it up, but this is more interesting. Alright, so it's 80.2k. 80, 80 I'm gonna put that there. Not gonna. Okay, I guess we can't just do that. That's annoying. So we would. So what we would have to do is turn this into something, and then scrap that. So I mean, that's not the end of. The, that's not impossible to do. I really want to take much time to do that anyway. And we actually. Oh, that's the the gold bar is slow, slightly floating above the truck bed. In a flying machine. The creative mode in this game is interesting because it lets you get these this hourglass that I have that stops time. Because normally there's like a day-night cycle, which is obnoxious because it's like gets really dark and you can't see shit and you have to sleep. And when you sleep and wake up, it's still dark as shit. But <clears throat> one of the more interesting things you can also get while in the creative mode is this like cap that you can equip and that lets you fly around like kind of like Minecraft or whatever. We need to have our bar heated up a little bit because we're gonna we're gonna make something out of this this uh we're gonna we're gonna make a, a big a big ass necklace. It's like the the b biggest thing you can currently make out of um your um your gold because you can make like yeah yeah I I was aware that it was hard to see stuff like constantly so I. I went into creative mode, got myself this hourglass, and then unenabled creative mode. Sleeping is for the week anyway. True. Alright, so. We got this bar gold bar heated up. Let's see if we can balance it on top of this big ass rupee. Because let's be real, that's what it fucking is. Cut it in half. And big ass necklace. This necklace is worth a bit more. It's worth like 82 grand. But now we should be able to... um. Take this and scrap it and get the value out of it. <clears throat> That'll fit in my on my ankle. Hell yeah. Just an ankle necklace. I guess that's like an anklet, I guess. There's actually like a real word for that. 
Now we could sell this for like 82 grand or whatever the value is. This is the vehicle shop. The vehicles currently are a little underwhelming. This is the same truck we have and this, these ones are bigger and different colored but the only thing different about them is they, um, they move a little faster. They don't hold, they don't have like a, they don't have a bigger like um, storage or anything like that because I mean it doesn't really matter. But Now this should let us scrap it. No? That's annoying. Well, alright, I guess we're just going to sell this for money then. So we're going to have to sell this for money and then like buy stuff to scrap instead. Ha ba ba. He go meow meow. Ha ba bee. <laughs> he is a little meow boy. He is, he is a small little lad. I mean, this is worth like almost 2 million money itself, so that was worth doing anyway, but it's just the fact that I was um, hoping to just blow that up. <clears throat> I guess the real question is, can I turn this into scrap? Because that would be a very direct way of doing it if that's the case. No, you cannot. <laughs> So what we'll have to do is use this money to buy like nukes like I was doing, because that seems to be the best way of uh, of doing that. Which is annoying, but we'll find we'll find we'll figure it out. So the claim destroyer is gonna not happen for a bit, but but that is fine. And we're gonna run this money back to here, and then we'll be in our stream for today. I'm already a little over my uh, time, but I wanted to at least try that out. Well, I had it on the mind, because I'll probably forget it otherwise. We'll just combine this money together. As you do, you just drop money, and it becomes bigger money. <laughs> How big is this Cloudium we have, at least? Well, that is enough Cloudium to make a few more drills next time, so... Unfortunately, the, the better truck, in this case, it's only a little faster. It's not really that much better, so I've not really wasted my time trying to do anything with it I think in the next update there might be added they hopefully will add back in the uh, truck that like lets you dig dirt with it that'd be cool they took it out for some reason I don't know why probably because it was buggy or something but yeah for now this is about as good as we got for trucks but we're gonna end the stream now because I'm a little over my time we're gonna quit to desktop fun little game my comfort bed and the open door I mean I'm a plant I do like the dirt a little bit <laughs> but yeah we're gonna end the stream now and my next stream is gonna be Saturday if I'm I should be able to stream Saturday we'll see but my next plan stream is Saturday which will be playing some more of a game called wayward and then probably the rest of the day we'll just play Pokemon Scarlet because it's a really good time thanks for being here Neki and thank you for being here Moogle and thank you all earlier for the follows as well let me scroll back up so I can see your names it stinks Thank you, thank you, and His Majesty, Your Grace, thank you so much for the follows. Appreciate you. Hopefully I can see some more of you. I will have good foods. Thank you. Um, yes, Pookie, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to end the stream here, and I'll see if someone's live so I can raid into someone real fast, and other than that, we'll be ending here. Uh, let's see what we got. We'll raid into Venn interviews. Looks like he's playing Dark Souls three, which is a fine, a pretty fine game. Not for me. I would never play that, but yeah, we'll we'll raid into Venn interviews. So I'm going to end my stream and we'll start that raid. He he's definitely saying goodbye. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna stop the stream, start the raid. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.